the penalty kick. Pantapomi has been in the thick of the action, but it looks like he's not going to continue any longer. That looks like a serious knee injury. And into the game will come Johnny Sexton. First touch of the ball in a Heineken Cup semi-final for Sexton is the opportunity to give his side the lead. Confident start from the young man. That was pressure, real pressure. At a height he'll never have experienced before. And that will settle the nerves and Leinster lead it now by six points to three. Well, I tell you, that showed nerves of steel from the youngster. He hasn't played all that much this season for Leinster in the pivotal position. What an occasion to have to come on and knock over the points in the pressure cooker situation of an All-Ireland semi-final, Heineken Cup semi-final. Down for Chris Whitaker. Sexton. Oh, Driscoll and Athewa. Lovely run from Isaac Athewa. Gordon Darcy. Leinster almost there. They are there. Try for Leinster. Oh, Driscoll, Nathewa, Darcy, five points. The blue half of Croke Park in ecstasy. Well, that's a super try, Royal. S straight out of, out of the book of confidence, really. And how Leinster have built that confidence since the kickoff because they're feeling their way into the match through an ever-improving line-out. Munster had cleared their lines well, but critically gave the put-in to, to Leinster. And uh, when they won the possession, it was all about pace, timing of the pass, lines of running. Here we see it, Quittiger whipping it out, Sexton. But watch the line here from Nesewa. And uh, not only does he make the break, he finds the support running. And Gordon Darcy, well, he seems to have hurt himself in the process. But he gets over with the momentum and a well-deserved try for Leinster. O'Driscoll just pops the pass to his centre partner, Gordon Darcy. Whitaker for Sexton. Up to the line, kick over the top of the defensive effort from Munster. The bounce goes Sexton's way and Leinster find their way into the Munster 22. But Warwick takes that line out quickly and Howlett bangs it into touch about seven or eight metres outside the Munster 22. Yeah, but critically, Leinster are deep in Munster's half yet again, and uh, they've, uh, that platform is working well for them. Rocky Elson leading the line, as I said, but the likes of Stanley Wright and company also having fine matches fronting up against the Munster 8, and it's allowing Johnny Sexton to have the luxury of putting the ball in and picking his spot. Jackman. And Leinster win their line out. Sexton for Elsom and now Shane Horgan and Gordon Darcy. But all that done well behind the defensive line of Munster. The ball breaks back for O'Driscoll. O'Driscoll has Hayes in front of him. Offloads to Keane Healy. Healy almost up to the Munster 22. Quick ball for Leinster. Leo Cullen has he slip outside him. He slipped to Jackman. Jackman into that Munster 22. Good ball handling from Leinster. Munster's defence again tested. Stan Wright is met by a wall of red. And the ball slowed down, and Whitaker can see the ball and now has the ball. Sexton, Jennings not used, Nathewa into the line, O'Driscoll once more, Shane Horgan, Luke Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald cuts back inside! It's a second try for Leinster! Warwick missed the tackle, and Fitzgerald strode home! And the Leinster fans in Croke Park are quite simply in ecstasy! O'Gara once more tries to launch Munster, but O'Driscoll has slipped in to intercept, and I think he's going to make it all on his own. O'Gara chases, but chases in vain, and O'Driscoll gets Leinster's third try. What an effort from Brian O'Driscoll. Munster forced to force it, and O'Driscoll slips in. And those that are here in red quite simply can't believe what's happening. Well, absolutely, Royal, but what a finish from Brian O'Driscoll. And to be fair, Leinster, they soaked up phase after phase after phase. You just have to ask the question, where did he get the fuel to go the length of the field? 
There's 19 minutes or so left, and Paul O'Connell, well, he knows Munster have dug out victories from the claws of defeat before. It's going to be very difficult to do it now.